All right, we're on your side tonight, monitoring your mood. We all have those days where we feel like we just woke up on the wrong side of the bed, or one bad moment has a sort of domino effect and just ruins your day. Well, a new survey reveals when most of us know it is going to be one of those days. And we have three things for you to know about it tonight. Thing one, when do most of us know we're in for a quote unquote uh, bad day? Well, apparently it doesn't take very long. Uh, the survey found the average American knows by 8.36 a.m. Most respondents said they have four of those bad days per month. So that's 48 days. So about a month and a half of bad days per year. It adds up. That brings us to thing two. What are some of the mishaps that sort of lead us to having one of those bad days? Well, 35% of people said waking up feeling sick. 31% said poor sleep. 29% said waking up with a headache. 26% said losing the car keys. 25% said forgetting their phone at home. And these morning holdups, those come with setbacks as a result. Nearly half of the respondents, 48%, said they canceled plans or called out of work to return to sleep after waking up with a feeling that the day would be challenging. That brings us to thing three. How are people preventing those bad days? Well, top strategies include setting aside alone time every day for relaxation, making time for enjoyable activities, and ensuring you get adequate sleep. In fact, most of the respondents of the survey say that their sleep quality could be the make or break factor between a good day and a bad one. See the number, they're 71%. Now, to improve your sleep, Dr. Viren Summers says you may need to tuck the electronics away before bed. In fact, there have been multiple studies that show a correlation between lack of sleep and the use of technology. What we do now is we, before sleep, we're watching TV. We're, we're, we're looking at, at our cell phones. The light from the TV, from the cell phones, from the ambient light is going to be shutting down your melatonin. Sleep expert Dr. Loris Cron says there are healthy ways to help your body get tired faster before developing an unhealthy habit. There needs to be a transition. When we start slowing down, we begin to rest. We begin to um, sort of take our mind away from more stressful, demanding tasks. Perhaps read a book or listen to music. Lastly, sleep experts say try to stick to a sleep schedule. Not easy, but it's worth it. Hopefully getting the rest you need will prevent some of those bad days. Here's hoping tomorrow's a good one for you. We're on your side tonight now with a live look from our 